Hey everyone, Software Guy here with a fresh video. Today, we're diving into a simple but powerful way to speed up your Windows PC by reducing unnecessary background processes. Whether you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, everything I'll show you applies to both. We're going to clean up things like startup apps, unnecessary services, scheduled tasks, and random programs running in the background that you probably don't even know are active. These can silently eat up CPU, memory, and even disk or network bandwidth, all of which can hurt your gaming performance or general responsiveness. By trimming down what your system loads and runs in the background, you can reduce input delay and system latency, free up resources for your games and apps, potentially boost FPS and make your system feel snappier overall. This isn't just about freeing RAM, we're making your system prioritize the things you actually use. With that said, let's jump in and start optimizing your system step by step. Step 1. Check your current background activity. Before we start making any changes, it's a good idea to get a sense of how busy your system is right now. This gives you a baseline. So once we optimize everything, you'll be able to see if things actually improve. First, open Task Manager. You can do this by either pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC, hitting Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and selecting Task Manager, or just typing Task Manager into the Start Menu search bar. Once it's open, click on the Performance tab on the left side of the window. Then, look toward the bottom right. You'll see a number showing how many processes are currently running in the background. This number includes everything. System services, startup apps, background tools, update checkers, and more. The higher it is, the more your CPU and RAM are being split between tasks, which can lead to slower performance, increased input delay, and even lower FPS in games. We're going to work on cutting down that background load so your system can focus more of its power on the things you actually care about like gaming or content creation. Let's move on to the first area we can optimize, startup programs. Step two, disable unnecessary startup apps. One of the easiest ways to boost your system's boot time and overall snappiness is by trimming down the apps that automatically launch when you start your PC. Many programs silently add themselves to your startup list without asking. And even if you don't use them right away, they're still using up RAM, CPU, and disk in the background. To review and disable these, open Task Manager again. This time, click on the Startup Apps tab on the left side. You'll see a list of all the applications that are set to run every time your system boots up. Some of them are useful, like your antivirus, audio drivers, or GPU control panel, but many aren't essential and can be safely turned off. Go through the list carefully. For each app you don't need launching at startup, right-click it and select Disable. A good rule of thumb. If you don't recognize it, don't use it often or don't need it right away after boot, it's probably safe to disable. Quick tip, avoid disabling anything related to your antivirus, system drivers, or hardware control software, like Realtek, Nvidia, AMD, etc. These are better left on to avoid issues with stability or functionality. Cutting down on startup clutter not only helps your PC boot faster, but also reduces the number of background apps that compete for system resources, giving you lower latency, better responsiveness, and smoother gameplay right from the moment your desktop loads. Let's keep going. Next, we'll look at background services. Step three, disable unnecessary Windows services. Now, let's tackle background services. Press Windows plus R, type services.msc, and hit Enter. Scroll to the bottom and look for the following Xbox-related services. Xbox Accessory Management Service, Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Game Save, Xbox Net Transport Service, for each one. Double-click it, set the startup type to disabled, click Apply, then OK. Also disable the following services if you're not using them. BitLocker Drive Encryption Service, Connected User Experiences, and Telemetry Download Maps Manager, Parental Controls, if not needed, Phone Service, if not used, Wallet Service, these services can, however, do your own research if you're unsure about a specific service. Step four, adjust performance visual effects. Windows comes with a bunch of visual effects like animations, shadows, and transitions that make things look smooth and polished. But here's the thing. These effects also take up CPU and GPU resources, especially on lower end or aging systems. Disabling most of them can help your PC run faster and feel more responsive, especially during gaming or multitasking. Here's how to tweak them. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type sysdm.cpl and press Enter. This opens the System Properties window. Click on the Advanced tab at the top. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. 
You'll now see a list of all the visual effects Windows uses. By default, it's probably set to let Windows choose, which often means everything is turned on. To get better performance, select the custom option. Then, only check the following three. Animations in the taskbar, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, uncheck everything else to reduce system load, click apply, then OK to save your changes. This small tweak can make a noticeable difference, especially if you're running demanding games or trying to get rid of input lag. Disabling the unnecessary visual fluff helps Windows feel more responsive and snappy without affecting how your apps function. Up next, we'll dig into scheduled tasks, another hidden source of background slowdown. Step 5. Disable non-essential services via system configuration. Now we're going a level deeper. Many programs install background services that run silently every time your PC starts, even if you're not using the program at all. Over time, these can pile up and start draining system resources, leading to slower boot times, more background activity, and less performance for your games or main apps. Here's how to safely trim that down. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type msconfig and hit Enter. This opens the System Configuration tool. Go to the Services tab. At this point, you'll see a long list of all the services currently enabled on your system. First, very important, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This hides all the essential Windows services so you don't accidentally disable something critical to your system. What's left will mostly be third-party software and utilities. Stuff like update checkers, media tools, game launchers, cloud sync services, etc. Now, go through the list and disable any services you don't need running all the time. Right-click or uncheck the box next to services from programs you recognize but don't use regularly. Examples might include services from Adobe, Apple, game launchers, printer utilities, or audio tools you don't use often. Important! Only disable services you recognize and understand. If something looks unfamiliar, take a moment to do a quick web search before turning it off. It's better to be safe than accidentally break something useful. When you're done, click Apply, then OK. When prompted, choose Exit Without Restart. We'll restart later after finishing all the tweaks. This step helps reduce the number of always-on programs that could be eating up resources in the background, giving your CPU and RAM more breathing room and potentially improving both system responsiveness and in-game performance. Let's move on to the next step, cleaning up scheduled tasks. Step 6. Disable unneeded scheduled tasks. Search for Task Scheduler in the Start menu and open it. Navigate to Task Scheduler Library. Carefully go through the list. If there are scheduled tasks for software you don't use, like OneDrive or Adobe Updaters, you can disable them by right-clicking and selecting Disable. Again, don't disable tasks that are critical to system stability or updates. Step 7. Remove unused applications. Open Settings from the Start menu. Go to Apps, Installed Apps. Sort through the list and uninstall apps you no longer use. Some pre-installed apps like Maps, Weather, or Movies and TV may not be necessary. To uninstall, click the three dots next to the app, select Uninstall. Most apps can be reinstalled from the Microsoft Store later if you change your mind. Step 8. Restart your computer. After making all these changes, restart your PC to apply everything. Step 9. Check the results. Reopen Task Manager and go to the Performance tab. Check the Processes number again. In my case, after these changes, that's a big improvement. And if you're not screen recording or running heavy apps, you might see it drop even further. That wraps up this optimization guide. I hope you found it helpful. If it made a difference in your system speed, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more practical software tips. Again, just to reiterate, your mileage may vary. None of this is guaranteed to work for everyone. Use at your own risk. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.